YouTube, what is up? It is the Macho Fan. I am back at it again for another weekly episode. All right, guys, so today was the last episode of the Last Ride series on The Undertaker on the WWE Network. And there was some bad news. Spoiler alert, The Undertaker's officially retiring. <laughs> so I thought I'd go back and watch The Undertaker's very first match. The Undertaker's very first match in the WWF was actually at a WWE Superstars taping, but I decided let's go on his first camera appearance, which was at Survivor Series 1990. And you guys are gonna watch it with me. All right, guys, so I got the AirPods in. We got Million Dollar Man, and he's introducing The Undertaker for the very first time to the WWE Universe. Ah. All right, guys, Undertaker's very first time being debuted. Let's see what it is with Brother Love Bruce Pritchard, too, who's now in charge of all creative. Been around. Iconic. <laughs> He does look intimidating AF, like not gonna lie, I wouldn't want to meet The Undertaker in a dark alley anywhere. Yeah, definitely got that Hugh Jackman look. Looks like Wolverine right there. With two black eyes. I wasn't even born when this match happened. I was being made. I was born nine months later. Oddly enough, did I do the math right? I don't want to. We got Bret Hart starting it off versus Undertaker. Undertaker in the ring for the very first time. Who's he with? Bret the Hitman Hart. You know this guy's gonna be a legend. I miss wrestling like this. Uh-oh, Jim Neidhart. Come on, Anvil, you can knock him down. Nope. And scoop slam. You're going down. For the very first time on camera in the WWF on live pay-per-view. The Tombstone Pile Driver. He just crumpled. Coco Beware just crumpled like a Coke can. Getting back into it. Undertaker got a sneak tag in there. Now he's back against the Dream. I don't know why American Dream pushed him back into his corner, but hey, that's wrestling for you. So yeah, I think Undertaker's debut match with two legends. Ooh, give him the kitchen sink. Undertaker's going to the top rope. Look at this young little spry guy. The flying lariat. Nope, double axe handle. He didn't hit the lariat yet. Oh, now hit, Hitman's giving it to him. Hit, Hitman, hit, Hitman, hit. Boom, headbutt from Undertaker. Uh-oh, what's Brother Love doing? Dusty's coming after him. Brother Love, Bruce Pritchard. Not according to Undertaker. Tacking Dusty Rhodes outside the ring as well. Making an impact. Make your name known, Undertaker. Make your name known. Ooh. What? Counted out? If he's gonna get counted out, might as well give it to where the getting's good. Go take out Dusty Rose. Take him out of the stadium. That's right. All right, guys, that was an amazing first match from The Undertaker. Not just amazing in the sense of what he was able to do, just who he was working with. Just think, this guy was a young 24, 25 years old, and he's already in the ring on his debut match with Bret the Hitman Hart and Dusty Rhodes. Took out Coco Beware and debuted the Tombstone Piledriver on a live pay-per-view. This led to the 30-year career, and Undertaker, thank you for all you've given to the wrestling community. We will ride with you forever and always, and have a happy retirement. Let's go. I'm feeling way too damn good. 